Metrics, 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 metrics. Okay, view report. So we can view the report of this publication. We can also go up to reporting. And it looks like we can, yeah, just look across, I think it's campaign reach. So this is taking me straight through to the reporting for this campaign, of course. It's not across all campaigns. Uh, three of five possible people have read this. So this is, I guess, the aggregated number of people across the different channels. So that sounds about right for my demo environment. Promotions, yes. So because someone forwarded that message, that's considered a promotion. I don't know. I did try promoting it via Teams by copying the link and sending it in another test that I did, and that didn't turn up as a promotion. So I've got to investigate that a bit more. Um, Okay, so yeah, th th this is just your, your all up view, but if you want to take a look at some of the details, click view report, and that's where we get into some of the deeper detail. Now this is where I've got to call out and say, SharePoint's not appearing there yet because the news post has not, um, oh, it hasn't been opened. Let's see if we can just cheat this. Has it appeared in... Uh, Let's try and find our way through to one of those SharePoint sites. Modern Work Mentor. Way we work, here it is. Something's changing. I oh, see, so the, the SharePoint page is taking a little bit longer to come through. Maybe I'll add something in the annotations over the top of this video to say when it eventually turned up, but it's a bit slow. Uh, but yeah, we can just dig in under the covers, maybe find the page and cheat a bit, open up the page and new teams is now available. Yay, I'm reading it. I'm scrolling down. I am liking it. Note that comments are turned on. I didn't see an option in the publication main draft to turn comments on or off. Keep that in mind if you don't want comments uh, it might not be an option at this stage in Amplify to turn it off. But it looks good. Just needs to appear in my news. <laughs> um, yep, still not yet. Okay, uh, back to the reporting. Let's refresh and see how quickly those results turn up. Oh, there we go. Right, so, mm, positive reaction. That's because there's only one kind of reaction in SharePoint. It's you like it or you don't click the button, which, is that considered neutral? I don't know. Back to uh, neutral reactions for this. See that surprised face is considered neutral? Because that's odd. Uh, there was the only one other reaction, which was the like. So I'm not sure which one we would choose to show a negative reaction. Uh, maybe surprise is neutral, but I wouldn't think so. Um, so all up, it's across distribution channels. There's another way to view this. That's what I was going to say. Stats. As an organization, you could use or get the Viva Communications and Communities license uh, for, let's say, if five of your communicators and enable them to use Viva Amplify. They could craft these messages, they could send them out to the distribution channels, but if you want the statistics about how people are engaging with the messages you send out, the publications, they need to be licensed too. So if you don't license them, you're probably not going to get these stats. In fact, I'd almost guarantee it. That's dangerous. Um, you'll get the tool to be able to use and send things out, but if you want that visibility, you need to license everybody. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, other ways to view this uh, audience. So this uh, more closely expands on the, uh, I sent it out via email. I'd like to see the distribution group in there that I sent it to. Uh, and here I've got the, but it doesn't, it's got email. Uh, I've got project radio marketing team, the teams that I sent it to and the site that I sent it to. I thought I sent it to two sites. Maybe I only did it to one. Anyway, that's where it should be. Um, we've got other options too. So this will be where it's picking up on, do you have multiple organizations as part of your tenant? Do you have function type? Uh, is that, I don't know. 
need to dig in deeper to what these are, but uh, it feels like those are just different ways of referencing department or what role you're in, what title you have. Um, and that sort of breakdown of, of who is engaging with your message and from all of those different kinds of ways of looking at your audience, again, it's another reason why you might want a license. It's because it gets access to that and you can, you can check that out. What does publication details do? Oh yeah, little summary. I mean, I, I know I chose all those channels, um, and that's about it, yeah. So that is uh, quite a walkthrough. I don't know how long that took me up to. 12 minutes? No, 12 minutes battery, I better finish. <laughs> uh, what did you think? Uh, hopefully this was helpful. It was quite a lengthy, deep dive but um, it should have given you quite a bit of detail there. And there's, of course, there's more to explore because this is version one. There's more things that we can try out. But at, at a, um, as a summary, it's a good start. It, it, there are some shortcomings that I'm seeing and thinking about, you know, how, how you, little gotchas, but, uh, but this is good. So, Keep following along. I plan to be helping communicators and people like yourself who want to better communicate about change and things that are happening in your organization. This is a good tool for us to look at and how we might also make better use of Microsoft 365 to craft our messages, to work together as a team. I'm your Modern Work Mentor. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.